overnight in the capital of Ukraine, the sound of missile strikes and air sirens. Explosions rocking several cities, including the capital of Kyiv, targeting military installations, including air bases housing fighter jets. The initial strikes that we think we're hearing right now, right out of the Russian playbook, would be cruise missiles to take out things like surface-to-air missile systems, air defense uh, systems that the Ukrainians would have. That would clear the path for waves of bombers and attack aircraft to continue to hit things like uh, power plants, command and control, uh, internet command centers. Russian President Vladimir Putin warning that any foreign attempt to interfere with Russian action will lead to, quote, consequences they have never seen. Talking about the denazification and demilitarization uh, of Ukraine. I mean, judging by those words, this appears to be the worst case scenario, potentially. We have to wait and see not just forces moving into the east to these rebel-held areas, but potentially moving on other parts of the country. This seems to be a much larger ambition. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky issuing a video statement overnight, declaring martial law, urging Ukrainians to stay home and not panic, adding, quote, we are strong. Earlier, at the exact moment Putin announced the Russian military operation was underway, the UN Security Council was gathering for an emergency session. Their pleas for peace coming after the first explosions were heard. I have only one thing to say from the bottom of my heart. President Putin, stop your troops from attacking the Ukraine. Give peace a chance to many people have already died. Then at the end of the session, a stunning moment when the Ukrainian ambassador directly addressed his Russian counterpart. There is no purgatory for war criminals. They go straight to hell, ambassador. The escalation appeared to begin earlier Wednesday when cyber attacks targeted Ukrainian government websites and banks. Civilian flights were restricted, and one senior Pentagon official told ABC's Martha Raddatz, quote, you are likely in the last few hours of peace on the European continent for a long time to come. Be careful. A very sobering message, but captures exactly what we are facing here in Ukraine on the European continent, the most dangerous time as they've said over and over at the Pentagon since World War II. And President Biden will address the nation later on today, announcing what he says will be severe sanctions to punish Russia. They could involve cutting off Russia from all Western financial institutions.